You know, I wanted to do this special podcast for a reason. You know, the the Lord gave me something years ago, and, and I wanted to share it. I've shared it over and over on this podcast, but I wanted to share it in a in a special podcast to, for, for hopefully millions to hear. And it, it's talking about how amazed I am with God's patience and, and what he went, the trouble he went to, to not, all, uh, to not only show me, but, but, but countless others all over this planet of just how patient he is. You know, years ago, I'm talking about it, this has been, I know I was in my early 20s. It had to have been almost 30 years ago, if, it, if not 30 years ago. I was coming out, coming out of North Georgia, coming home. We lived in the south end of Bradley County. We live in the in the we, we lived in the southeast part of the Bradley County. I live in the northwest part now. But uh, I was coming out of uh, North Georgia, and the Lord showed me a picture. And people call it a vision. I just call it a picture. I can still see it today, as vivid as it was then. I can still see it now, that vivid. I, I, it just was something that just uh, stuck with me, and I know I know today why it stuck with me. But but then I didn't. I really didn't. But he showed me a picture, and it was a picture of a, an old dehydrated old man. I'm talking about this man. You could just tell he he had lived a lot of years and 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 suffered a lot, and. He he was just dehydrated to the point of death, standing in the middle of the the most the most clearest water. And I mean, this river that he was standing in was probably maybe forty fifty feet wide, and and just uh just the the water in it was just crystal clear. But he was dying of thirst. I'm talking about dying of thirst. And for for all those years, for over twenty five years. I real I I was uh, thinking and I thought that that man was a lost man. I really did. I thought I thought that he would just refuse. He was one of the ones that just refused to to accept Jesus Christ as, as his Lord and Savior. And I thought that for decades, literally decades. But uh, one day, I mean, this is this. Like I say, this is twenty five years later. One day, I live where I live now. It's been years ago now, but I, I was living here when when all this happened. I got up and I went out out of my garage and was walking across the yard. We've got a a chicken coop that we used to keep chickens in a building that we used to keep chickens in up up away from the house across the 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 field from the house and I was walking across the yard going heading in that direction and the Lord spoke to my heart and I'm talking about this 25 years later he spoke to my heart and he said that man wasn't a lost man and I knew just just as soon as he said it instantly I knew that that, that what he was talking about I saw that picture I can see it now I mean literally that that many years ago can still see the picture that God showed me, and like I said, I've had people, you know, people say, "Well, maybe it's a vision or this and that," but I just call it a picture. But uh, he said that man wasn't a lost man, and and he said that man was a religious man that refused to believe what I've written down for him to believe in, and to to believe. And and I found out later that that man was me. That man was was me. I had I had lived a the biggest part of my adult life as a born again child of God. Failed miserably at times. Felt backslid over a, for a, for a dozen years. Got away from from church. I never was away from God. I prayed every day and. And just acted a fool a lot of times, but but uh, just for years I thought that man was a lost man, but realized that man was me, that religious man that refused to believe what God had told me in His Word to believe. And at the point that he that he spoke to my heart, 
I had, you know, I had gotten to where I'm at today, and and I grow it more and more every day. But but I was I was receiving what God was telling me in His Word, and I'd already come to the conclusion that I was going to uh, I was going to believe God's Word above all opinion, and. And I think that's the reason why God spoke to me again about that picture, and and that that is just the that it amazes me how how much God will has patience with us and wants us to to come to a place in their in our lives that we, that we take out all the stops and and we believe His word. Uh, above and beyond anything that we can see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. It just it, leave our senses behind and say, God, I'm going to believe you. I'm going to do what you want me to do. I'm going to say what I want you to want me, what you want me to say. I'm going to stand in what your word says and believe it. I didn't, I didn't know that man was me for a lot of years. But God wanted me to know that he had been dealing, dealing with me since I was a young man. I'm talking about in my early 20s. Me and my wife, we probably hadn't been married two, three, four years. I mean, literally. We had been just still kids. And, and he was trying to, to, to draw me to him. He was trying to convince me of what I'm I'm just uh, just determined and convinced now today of it you could ain't no way anybody could have could ever uh make me not believe it today but he wanted to do that back then I look back over my shoulders and look at all the times you know they say hindsight's 2020 but I look at all the times that that I have missed God missed what he's been speaking to me and try uh, helping me, trying to help me uh, to to turn towards Him instead of turning to religion and doubt and fear and unbelief of uh, of all those years that I wasted doing it. But you know what? Now, there's no regret in my heart about those years wasted because God's going to use them. He's going to use those years because when I when I give my heart and life back to Him. He gave me a desire to do something, and I'd had that desire since since I was called to preach in my early twenties. But but I had failed at it because I, I didn't know how to be led by God, and and His patience, His amazing patience with me and everyone else on this planet. It still just I'm talking about amazes me to see how much God will how how much time He will take to get to you, to strengthen you, and to help you know and understand that he's for you. That, it took me a lot of years to figure that out. But boy, you couldn't jar it out of me now for nothing in the world. And I, that's what I want to instill in you on this podcast, in this ministry. I want to instill in you that with, by, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, if you need healing, you're healed. If you need a need met, God shall supply all you needs. Do you understand what I'm saying? Believe God's word. Believe what he says. Don't don't do like I did and 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 just go through twenty almost two almost three decades before you figured it out. Spent two and a half decades out here staggering around in the world in religion, in doubt and fear and unbelief, instead of just taking God. For what he said in his word, taking his word for what it said, and believing what he said. Do that today. I I, I just felt led to do this special podcast, this, this this short podcast for people to to know and understand that God's got patience for all of us. He's he's I'm I'm talking about he is long suffering to see people come to him. If you've never been born again. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today. Romans 10 and 9 said, If you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says you shall be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Glory to God. Make him Lord today if he's not your Lord. And if he is your Lord and you're away from him, it's easy. Confess your sins. First John 1 and 9 
says he confess your sins. He's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He'll do that for you today. Glory to God. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life. If, you, if he is Lord and you're away from him, run to him. Don't run from him. Glory to God. The Lord led me to do this special podcast for a reason. Because I, I know he wanted me to put that in recording of that story about that man. That, that man was me. So that others can see and understand how much patience God's got with everybody on this planet. Glory to God. Go to our website and get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. 